seen the disruptive nature of climate change effects in terms of the huge humanitarian crisis in the form of the floods, or devastating floods, or even prolonged famine, decimation of livestock and wildlife, the displacement of populations, this, uh, disruption of livelihoods, 
uh, traditional livelihoods like around agriculture. So we are looking at, uh, even as we look at complex security threats like terrorism and organized crime, climate change is no longer in the view of President Ruto. It's no longer uh, uh, food security, agriculture, uh, humanitarian matter. It is a na it's a national security, international security problem, which can pose even existential threats. Uh, we could just have our countries uh, completely disrupted by climate change. So that's an area that I thought, um, because of the interest and the responsibility that uh, your counterparts have placed on President Ruto, um, it's an area where, again, you could consider working together. Uh, I believe Botswana has just had a problem, just like Kenya, on, on that area of climate change, Your Excellency. She has been giving you accurate uh, briefs about the country, about uh, the challenges, uh, about the possible <coughs> solutions, and how we can work together. And uh, it now remains for us to get down to doing what has to be done uh, in the shortest possible time, so that we don't just uh, operate at the level of re the rhetoric. We need to get some action. So thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.